Hey everybody, if you have a Soundcraft UI 24R, you may have heard that there's a brand new firmware update out, and we're going to talk about what that firmware update covers, and then I'm going to show you how to actually do the firmware update. And I'm going to show you all that right now. Let's go! Okay, so here's what the new firmware update covers. It's a consolidated version that'll run on all the UI24R serial numbers. It has performance improvements to the USB playback of files that are over one hour in duration. It has performance improvements to the USB audio stream consistency overall. And it has a performance improvement when cascading between different serial number boxes. This has been a problem for a while where people who have two boxes they want to cascade, but the serial numbers are way out of alignment with each other. They either can't cascade or they have issues with audio transferring back and forth. So that's kind of the key one here in this firmware update. It's to make sure that people with differing serial numbers can actually do the cascading between their two boxes. So here's what I'm gonna say. If your boxes are running fine, and if these updates in this firmware don't concern you, then by all means, don't do the firmware update. I know that some of you are very wary about doing software or firmware updates when something is released brand new. You want to wait until people have, you know, dipped their toes in it a little bit to figure out all the bugs before you jump on the bandwagon. And I can totally appreciate that. I'm not here to tell you that you need to do it. I'm just giving you the information and you can do with it what you will. So now that we've talked about what it does, let's actually step through how to do that firmware update. Because you might have to do manual reconnection of your network settings on your mixer, please make sure you go into your network settings and make note of how everything is configured, just in case you have to do that reconfiguration after this update process. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is come to the Soundcraft website, then you're gonna click on Products, Mixers, UI Series, UI 24R. Come over here to the right side and go to Downloads, Firmware, your latest firmware should be the top. You're gonna to click on the update file, download it to a location that you're going to remember. I've already done that, let the download happen. And then what you're going to do is take the downloaded file, which is a zip file. You don't need to unzip it. You are going to put it on a USB stick. So I've got one here, I'm gonna drag it over. Once you have it on a USB stick, you're gonna take that stick and put it into your mixer, into one of the USB ports. You should be able to put it into any USB port on the mixer. I'm gonna go with the record slot on the front. We should see that it's inserted, and we do, and it should recognize that update file in just a few seconds. Okay, so that takes a little while, but it does happen. It says in the manual it can take more than 10 seconds. That was considerably more than 10 seconds. That was probably closing in on a minute here. So once you have this notification, you're gonna choose update, and you're gonna let it do its job. And when it's finished, we should get a message saying that the firmware update has been completed and whether or not it's successful. At that point, we need to restart the mixer. It's kind of a bummer that we don't get a progress bar here. We just have to sit and wait, but it is what it is. Here's where we get a progress bar once it's actually into the process of unpacking the information. So here we go, that was pretty quick. Update succeeded. Please turn off the unit for 10 seconds, power back on and reload this page. Note your device is wireless, might need a manual reconnection. So let's see what happens. Let's turn it off. Power back on. And once we look like we're back up and running, going to reload the page. Oh, we heard a click. That means it just kicked into online. So this should load now. And let's go into our settings, go to the about page, 
And so here we can see the firmware. And just for reference, here is my second one. And we'll just look at the about page there. So there's our firmware on my other unit, 3.4.8318. And the one I just updated, 3.5.8328. So we know it was successful and it looks like the mixer is working. So there you go. That's how you update the firmware in your Soundcraft UI24R mixer. I hope this was interesting, entertaining, educational. If it was any of those three things, please be sure to like and share and subscribe. You can also check us out on Patreon down below. Or if you found any of these videos helpful and you wanted to make a small donation to the channel, you can do that with the super thanks down below. Anyway, until we see you next time, thanks for watching here on Quick and Easy Quickies. Bye, everybody.